Yes, it's been a minute. Hello. Hello. We figured it would be kind of interesting to do a six month recap. What are you yes. doing? Yes. I just noticed this massive. What is that? Yeah, we figured it's been six months, six and a half months yes. uh, with our little sweet Parker. And we thought, let's do a little recap. Some of the, the highlights, struggles, the struggle is real, the yes. funny moments. Yeah, there's been so much that's happened. And I feel like this recap is also just for us to uh, reflect on everything. And it's easier when we Do are doing it with everyone else. Like it feels like it's been a month, not six months. We, I feel like I'm missing certain things or I'm forgetting certain things. Forgetting, forgetting. Like where your keys are or where your phone is. No, no, no. Forgetting like the, some of the cute little moments and things with him or even um, some of like the struggles. Is he waking yeah. up? No. No, oh. also, yes, we have to uh, kind of do this quickly because as soon as I try or we try to start anything, he wakes up. Yeah. So we have so. him on the monitor. Let's okay. start from I birth. Whoa. He was a big baby. He was eight pounds, almost two ounces. And I remember looking at him and I was expecting a wrinkly little face and he had no wrinkles. I was expecting like little ugly old band face. Like oh, he does have my like thinky like, face. Thinky face. Like, Our friend Jeff said, I know you're tired, but just like do a voice note or something uh, two weeks into parenthood. The, the one thing that I am again so happy that we did is uh, that we saved his cord, the umbilical cord, and also the, the tissue and the blood. And the blood, yeah. yeah. CBR is the company that we used. There's so much advancement in technology and science, especially with cord blood and cord tissue. I mean, if Parker ever has an issue down the road or even potentially siblings or parents, this cord blood and cord tissue, the stem cells, can help rebuild immune systems, replace organs, and even cure life-threatening diseases. It's absolutely amazing. I don't remember the process exactly because it's kind of a blur for me. So I remember more, remember of, more it of it than she does. We basically had a box. A box? Yeah, and so the nurses already knew what to it. do. Yeah, nurses and doctors knew what to do with it. Yeah handed over to them and we so we saved the uh, cord tissue and the blood. Mm -hmm. It was then shipped off and it was super easy. This is one of those things when people are like, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. This literally is because if we didn't get this when Parker was born, we would never yeah. have this again. And to know that this could be something that could be uh, life-saving down the road is, mm -hmm. It's pretty amazing. Thank you to all of our friends because we had, I think it ended up being three different friends um, that all had messaged at different times while Linda was pregnant. And they all said, hey, have you heard of uh, CBR? We would not have thought of it at all. No. Well, it wasn't on my radar. It's worth checking out. So all I would say is we'll share a link and make sure that you check it out because if you are going to have a baby, it is definitely something worthwhile and it's mm -hmm. something that could be helpful for your baby as well as your family. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, let's talk about fitness. Listen, Parker has been get going to the gym. Parker has so many trainers. Thighs. Yeah, so Linda and I have been also working out a little bit. Uh, Linda has Just a bit. got me doing some Pilates, Yes. which has Actually, been amazing. If you remember from the refillery, yeah. we have Kelly helps us out because we don't want to have a lot of wasted single use plastics or anything like that. And she looks nice. But she's really like sweet. She, like she looks like she's nice and yes. sweet. And then she's like, no, we're going to do this right to the and end. Yeah. So suck like it up. No buttercup. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's why. So I go from kind Kelly to killer Kelly <laughs> is what I, I say there. But, and so I've been mixing between Pilates and then also working with my trainer, Preston, uh, which I really love too, because he keeps it interesting. We once or twice a week, we'll hit all the muscle groups. And I feel so much better because I have not been working out regularly for the last two years, I'd say. So it's, it actually feels nice to at least be hitting everything once or twice a week. I also want to take that statement and match it with another time where you're like, yeah, I work out all the time. You know what? I, I, I've said that over the years and I'm like, who am I kidding? I have not been working out all the time for quite some time. So I just noticed we look tired. My lines are getting thicker. You're you look that? amazing. Oh, thanks. You look amazing mm -hmm. too. I don't mean we don't Bonus look amazing. Points. I'm saying we look tired. But look at my hairline. There's balding baby hairs coming in. here. You're not balding. I kind of am. Like, look at this chia hair. Linda was like, oh, she's like this sort of thing. And I come in and I'm like, what are you doing? She's looking at Parker's hair and looking at her hair. And her little hairs are shorter than Parker's little <laughs> hairs. 
I think we talked about this before uh, a year ago or so. But Linda takes her hair that comes out and she's like on the wall of the shower. It's better than in the drain. I have just learned over the last year or two years that that is what a lot of women do. I'm like, God, what is this thing on the wall? And anyway, like, how does it get on the wall? Yeah, all of these years. <laughs> I never knew that that's what it was. She started making like hearts out of the hair and stuff. <laughs> so I took it and I it balled it up and I tossed it on the wall and it stuck like a cage, like a little ball, like a cage on the side of the wall. So I got a little tissue paper guy and I put it in it like a little person and then I put a sign on the, on the glass <laughs> saying, help me. Very hair nice falls thing. out, hair falls out and it'll come back. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is our life though. like. Yawns. Well, I, the only thing I want to say is we have actually adventured a little bit. We haven't been flying with Parker yet, but we've taken some little road trips and stayed overnight at a couple places, sort of within an hour or two. And it's been really fun. He's been super chill. There's like a FOMO with him. Like he's not getting his greatest sleep because yeah, he doesn't want to miss out on the environment. Yeah, not me when it comes to FOMO because I don't have FOMO. Yeah. But yeah, he, he just won't sleep if there's stuff going on. He can sleep with a bit of noise and whatnot. He's actually been pretty good with that. However, yeah, he just, he wants to see everything. This is the shit, sleep the regression, the shift. Oh, I thought you said This is the <gasps> Sleep regression is something that we had no idea about. And so at three, around three months, I think it was, he was actually sleeping pretty well. And we're like, we got this. And then all of a sudden, nope, he wasn't sleeping just great. Just kidding, got we're you. like, ugh. So we're getting into a new routine. We're feeling pretty good. He still wakes up, you know, two, three times in the night for a quick um, sip of um, mom's milk. And then he goes back to sleep and then, this past week, shift again. We feel like he's been taking for like two months, so we're surprised yeah. that a tooth hasn't come out yet. Yeah. But the past few nights have been pretty uh, sleepless. Because we think it's the teeth, or it's a gas, or a combination. Because like he started eating solids a week ago as well. It's it's interesting. He knew right away how to eat off of a spoon. He knew right away how to drink out of a cup. So Linda got him this magical cup, and it, it's. Uh, so it's not like the nipple, it's just like a cup, it's but like it has- no weak cup. Yeah, so basically on the top of it, when he puts his mouth on it, he like bites into it a little bit, it opens up a little um, so cool. thing where it drips open, but it won't leak upside down. I would use it. I would totally use that. He doesn't love a bottle. But he laughs at it. I don't, know, like, I don't understand huh. So as soon as the nipple, nipple comes real? up to his face, yeah, he's like- <laughs> <laughs> And he like plays with a second, he's like, no. Decided to give him some fancy foods because we are foodies. Imagine if he was like this little baby traveling around like, oh, I only eat the best formula. Here's a funny story. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're kind of a bit all over the place, but this is how our, uh, our brains are working yeah. these days. Was it yesterday or a couple days ago, you were in the nursery and it was super dark. Yeah. And you asked, me to bring, <laughs> you asked me to bring you your water or something. I'm sitting in the chair holding Parker. And then where the chair is in the one corner uh, over by the window, on the other corner by the window is the little bed area like where he sleeps she comes in i thought she could see because could the, light, the light from the hall silhouette. so i'm like going like this but and i'm I holding him see a thing i'm just kind of like this <laughs> she goes like this hold on she comes up and looks at me <laughs> and then she looks down at my chest and then she just goes like this <laughs> no i did and she poke. Poke. it was just like mm -hmm. feeling around mm -hmm. she I poked parker in the in the face while he was sleeping luckily he didn't wake up i'm like <laughs> oh my gosh i'm just gonna leave and then the two of us were having a laughing fit we couldn't <laughs> stop i'm like don't make me laugh <laughs> Cause he's shaking here, uh, it was funny. The previous day, the camera has like a two-way voice oh, right. thingy. Yeah. And Drew thought it would be cute, you know, just to talk to Parker. He just started waking up. Yeah, and so he's fussing a bit and Drew's like, okay, I'm just gonna calm him down using the, the two-way talk. Drew goes on the mic or on the phone and says like, Parker. But the Hi, volume Parker. was like super loud on Parker's end. And I didn't realize until I tested it afterwards. It was like, hello Parker. It was like, it was like this low, like, it did not sound like my voice at all. And Parker goes, and then starts crying. And I was like, oh, maybe go, I won't do that. Yeah, we go upstairs and he's yeah. like real tears. He's been having a really good sleep right now. We have the camera on him right now and he's been down for almost an hour. We, we spend most of our life right here at this counter. So this is where we feed Parker. This is where we're prepping his food. And then we're like, let's go from here to the bed upstairs because I'm tired. Yeah, I think one of the big surprises is how, well, not a surprise for me, maybe for you, how messy oh. uh, our spaces are now. I'm like excited to see you let go of no, a I'm little not. bit. It's not surprising. I knew things would get messier. I just don't like it. Sorry, like nobody mess. likes a mess, oh, hold but on. it's not Look at like this. the most okay. important hold thing. On can see there's dishes in the sink, stuff piled up along the side, a bunch of 
boxes and things, and then there are dishes over there. It's not crazy. It, it drives through oh, I can't the stand it. walls. How I was raised, um, to, like you clean yes. after you're done and you move along. Okay, that, that's fine. I think everyone strives to do that. But by one different. by one year old, he's going to know how yeah. to eat like this with the pinky up, and he won't make any mess, and he'll wipe his mustache when he's because <laughs> he'll have a mustache year at one year old. Yeah. We couldn't see our bathtub. There were so many, <laughs> there were so many like towels. baby towels and things laying all around it, like just drying off whatever else. I'm like, I literally can't see the bathtub. This yeah, drives me nuts. Yeah, that's what the bathtub is there for, not to take a bath in. It's like how the oven warmer we never use as a warmer, we just use storage. as storage. <laughs> But what are other things? So Halloween was really fun because Linda's mom made this amazing oh, they were so costume. Cute. We were uh, family pumpkin, pumpkin patch. patchwork. So the pumpkins were, it was all handmade by, by Barb. And we, we went to the fabric shop and bought all the materials. And I was thinking to myself, like, it'll look cute, but it'll be whatever. It is the best kids pumpkin costume I have ever seen. And then Drew put on his and he was like, I look cute. I look good. I've seen some that are store-bought and it just seems just cheap. This yeah. looked like it was super high quality. So when you have Linda and her mom, they get into crafty mode and sewing and everything, like things get creative. Oh, so fun. Standing out, out on the driveway and handing out candy to kids. That's perfect. So then you guys can go back and forth. Thank you, Oh, thank you. <laughs> good job, guys. Oh, well, five stars, five stars. Linda's sister and her family were all together with us. Yeah. was always like, what do you say? Can yeah. you dance? Can you high kick? Thanksgiving uh, was good too. Thanksgiving was lovely. Basically, uh, Linda just buttered up Parker's thighs because they're chunky and yeah. delicious. Uh, it's not even December yet and we're, we're decorating. Oh, overall, the first six and a half, six months, six and a half months have been amazing. Did you expect it to not be amazing? No, I expected, I'm tired. I thought you and I would be butting heads more, but I feel we've actually been working pretty well together. How do you feel? Right at this moment, gassy. Um, and also we're getting a lot of information from all of you. So anybody out there who's offered up advice, thank you so much and please continue to do so. Can you see my eye twitching? Or... Oh my gosh, every single day it's learning something new or feeling something new and then... Well, he's a sweetheart. We'll see y'all again soon. We'll, we'll try and share our stories a little more frequently, but thanks for your patience. Yeah, see you soon. I can feel your eye twitching now. It's waving goodbye. Aww.